All right, you ready, Bobby? Here we go. Let me make, let's see if I can, you know, okay. A fancy jackknife. This is the, uh, how do we get on the, oh, okay, hang on. Because this is a, uh... well, hang on, Bobby, I'll get there. We'll, we'll start this in a minute, I promise. Okay, maybe. Um, maybe we try something different. Hey, what's up? It's Chris Young. Uh, I'm standing in the all new Keystone Springdale 282 BH. And what I'd like to do today is kind of talk about some things that Keystone did great with this one. And, you know, maybe some things where they have some areas of opportunity with. Uh, we like to call this hit or miss. So the first thing I want to talk about is a miss, but it's 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 a miss with a little bit of a positive check note. I'm, I'm not a huge fan of jackknife sofas. And the one that's here is the pleather kind, and you saw me undo it and try to get comfortable. If, if you're a large adult like I am, AKA your boy Slim Fats right here, uh, it's gonna be a little tight for one adult that's over six feet to get in here because of the dimensions. Unless you sleep curled up, you know, then you could possibly get two adults on. We always say jackknives can sleep one. Uh, but the thing that I did like about this was the armrests, because a lot of jackknife sofas don't have them. And this actually can double as a pillow that gives you a space to put your arm. So it, it's a miss, but it's only a near miss. So if one of the things you want to do is kind of upgrade some of your furniture inside, the best part about it with coming to Camper World is we got that design center, which is awesome. You could put one of those easy out or those glide outs or even a hide a bed to kind of replace the jackknife eh, and make this a true hit. Now let's talk about a sweet hit. Inside the Springdale with the booth dinettes, you get this table that is multifunctional. And the thing that I really like about it are two things actually. Number one, it's not attached to the wall. And then number two, if you want to reduce it down, you just release the latch here, put your foot down and push it down. That way it could double as a coffee table. And since it's not attached to the wall, you can also take this outside if you want, put it under the awning and use it as an outside table. So this right here, a sweet hit for the Springdale. Uh, let's talk about a miss. Now, what you're seeing a lot of the manufacturers do is they're going to this PVC grade marine weave inside the slides. So whenever I see carpet, that's gonna be a miss for me. Mainly because I mean, sure, it might match the flow and color scheme of the RV, but at the end of the day, it's still gonna attract and hold more dust. And if you're like me, that debris, that dust could affect your allergies as well. So having carpet inside of a slide in an RV or just in an RV in general, unless it's 1974 and you got the shag carpet and the bell bottoms and the butterflies, this is a miss. Paint me like one of your girls, Robert. No, so let me tell you, let me tell you about a true hit. With bunk models, especially when you're talking about double over double bunks, you won't get bunks this wide in most models. So Springdale nailed it with these. This is a hit because of the space that we have on here. The only thing I'd like to see is with this ladder, which granted it is wider than it was last year, but this bottom rung, give me a groove. Yeah, I mean, look at this. What, I gotta like, how am I supposed to, what? It, what, what am I, climbing Kilimanjaro? I got a plie or something here. So just give me a groove in there, but overall, these bunks with the extra wide, that's a hit. A wobble, 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 wobble. A wobble, 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 wobble. A weeble wobble, but I don't fall down. Okay, so this is a bunk model RV, which means you're gonna have kids, potentially, running around the RV. Now, this addition of a laundry chute, which is accessible from the outside pass-through storage, is a great option. The miss for me on this one is it's just attached by the carpet. Give me a hinge, dude. Give me something that if I'm angrily coming in from an extra long walk on the beach and I want to throw my dirty clothes in there or my coolers in here and I want to grab a cold one, I don't accidentally aggressively re-grab this and just rip it completely off. And now I'm left holding a little carpeted buckler that's not going to do me any good in the battle with the family. This is a miss.
Let there be light. Let there be light. Let there be light. Why am I doing this? Well, A, I'm a huge fan of Vincent Price movies. <laughs> you remember Thriller? That video was awesome. But this is a true hit. Every Keystone RV is going to come with the Solar Flex option. What is Solar Flex? Well, it's either a 200 or a 400 watt solar panel that's put on top of the roof of the RV. You got a solar charge controller, an inverter, and this will allow you to run things like the light, the refrigerator, and even some outlets off the power of the sun. Plus, it's upgradable. With so many people wanting to go off grid and do more things, plus trickle charge the battery to keep more power available, Solar Flex is a huge hit. Rise from your grave. So all in all, when you're talking about the Keystone Springdale 282BH, great family bunkhouse with tons of amenities. But hopefully this video kind of showed you some of the hits and misses. For me, the, the misses are going to be carpet in the slide. Let's go ahead and just do carpetless. Uh, the jackknife sofa, I would swap this out. Uh, and then give me a hinge on that little storage door. Cause I mean, that's, that is something that's gonna rip off, which means I'm gonna have to replace it. But as far as the hits, cause there's so many of them, I, I love the table because it's multifunctional, love the space in the bunks and solar flex using the power of the sun is always gonna be a hit for me. Uh, so all in all, overall, just a great RV for you and your family to enjoy. Uh, and hey, if you like videos like these, uh, please do us a favor, give us a like. Um, it always helps us out. And if you want to see more great content, whether it be a review of an RV or whether it be, you know, some product guides or some helpful tips for your next camping trip, you never know. By clicking subscribe, you might find the RV of your dreams waiting on you in your inbox when you get home. So I'm Chris Young for Camping World. I'm going to try to uh, knock out uh, Elevated here on the Springdale, and I'll check you out next time. Oh,